Hi Luis, I'm Dave Keys and I run a small digital marketing company agency here in Murrieta, California. And I saw your post and saw a couple comments, including some that mentioned uh, the ability to measure your return or track your responses. And I had the, the same thought that your responses are not very easy to track. You might have a uh, specific phone number that people are calling that can help you see who's actually responding um, but you're broadcasting um, on what I remember to be a very expensive um, medium and that is uh, television and so you got your one-time cost of uh, your cost of production of the ad piece and perhaps the greater concern is your ad spend on the ad itself and it looks like you're targeting a market area of about 400,000 people from Temecula to Lake Elsinore and here in uh, Menifee and maybe a little bit beyond too I don't know but um, if you've got 25% coverage of a 400,000 person market that's 100,000 and with costs of five to ten dollars per thousand uh, views then that's going to run up pretty fast and each time you run a spot you're going to spend additional advertising dollars so I'm wondering if you have looked at at uh, organic search as a source of traffic and that's because you can directly track the traffic you can collect email addresses and contact information and hit that sweet spot of you know four five six exposures that most people need before they make a buying decision without paying for airtime for those five or so exposures for a client um, especially if you had some kind of free offer that you could provide I don't know what you're capable of providing that people are going to respond to it might be a little much to come and do a in-person free inspection of a roof but maybe with certain criteria you could draw some people in that way um, so you target your Google business profile pretty well and you've got some fresh content on there as well at least images from what appear to be placed in the last week or so um, it'd be better to see you dominate it a little more and I thought I had this next up, but I'm going to, you really do pretty good, but I would want to own all of the organic searches right there. And this industry in particular, anything to do with remodeling, construction, contractors, etc., are going to have a, a fight on their hands. I've got a client here in uh, remodeling with uh, some of the same criteria and issues. So Yelp and, uh, Home Advisor, Angie's, and all those sites tend to crowd in on this kind of product. But but you can get frontline roofing to take up a big portion of the real estate. Um, my brand is Dave Keys Media. And that is pretty well filled up with my own um, identity. So that's something we could help you with. Now, when you make a decision on anything like this, um, you're going to want to take opportunity to look at what's been established as keywords for the website that drive traffic. And so what I've seen so far is that Temecula keywords drive a lot more traffic. And that, that's kind of typical in this area, Temecula being the main kind of source city of all these other communities. Temecula is the big one, at least right now it is. Um, and so you've got all these keywords with um, traffic volume and traffic potential and you've got opportunity to get exposure for these keywords in Google um, here's some more roofer instead of roofing there's variations where you can pick up even more traffic uh, this green one here indicates a very low keyword difficulty so it's not going to take you that long 
to get more exposure instead of like a roofer near me. This has got a potential for 150 to 200 searches per month um, based on this 165,000 volume and you, you multiply that by the U.S. population, divide that by the uh, population in your area, which is about 400,000. That's going to give you about 150 people that are just searching roofer near me or roofing company or something like that. That's more opportunity for you to get into the organic search. You do already show up here, but you're paying for this this ad here. So every time it gets clicked, I don't know what it costs you to have this this um, kind of top sponsored result, but it's up to twelve dollars a click or eleven dollars and ninety nine cents. The uh, other keywords tend to run a little high. That says fifty cents. Some keywords say about five dollars, and this one says eleven dollars. So I know that Google Advertising does run a substantial cost. I'm only pointing out that if you're investing into online exposure, you might want to look at organic a little bit more. Roofing contractors, another general term that's going to bring in about 100 searches a month locally based on that 9,000, 90,500 here. And then Lake Elsinore has smaller numbers, but these are all AdWord numbers, and the organic search tends to bring in more. Your other opportunity is to create more pages about specific topics like finding leaks or telling if you're going to have a, a leak in your roof or what to do if you've got a leak, topics like the flashing and, and what happens when your roof starts to age and how long does the roof in Temecula last and same thing for all the other communities and that's really what your website is lacking right now there's opportunity here based on uh, the keywords and you've got about six keywords you're ranking for right now and they all tend to be centered around frontline roofing the brand and of course you're going to get that without much effort if they're looking for you they already know about you you're trying to get folks who don't know about you. It looks from external tools like SEMrush that you're getting about organic traffic of the, you know, this has 17, another tool says 30, but they're all fairly low for a website that's local here with that much demand on the market. Oh, we already showed this. So, You've got opportunity, like I said, this one is um, your brand itself, and you at least have number one for the the name of your company itself, and then Yelp and the rest of them come right in. It'd be nice if you could fill in some of these slots with some of your own properties, some of your own uh, um web resources that you have control over because you don't have control over what Yelp says about anything. They might feature someone else. They happen to feature you, but they could put somebody else up there too. Um, and then other other companies with the same name like this one in Kansas, you want to make sure that you always outrank them. Uh, right. So I look at your website and when I saw the menu here, this was very popular about 10, 12 years ago. This uh, I used to make menus that look exactly like this, but it told me the site might be a little out of date. Looks like you started the back end 2007 from this copyright right here. And it's on Wix. And that's okay. Um, it seems like, in my experience, WordPress sites tend to rank for more diverse terms a little better you've got just a few pages one with which is your home page with what you're offering here your services and then a, a book now page here's another page for services and it goes into a little bit more of the products that you offer uh, what's really lacking however is and here's, I'll just cover this real quick, gallery and some of your um, products as they've been installed. And then about, 
and here's service areas so you do cover that as a single page Google responds a lot better to specific pages with specific services to specific service areas so like Moreno Valley that's a huge area it would deserve and need its own page to get traffic from Moreno Valley same thing with Hemet if you're going out as far as Riverside and Laguna Hills in Orange County Rancho Santa Margarita Mission Viejo that's an enormous market and of course if you're paying for uh, TV ads that's an enormous cost so even greater than I had earlier said there's all these market areas where there's a lot of traffic and of course a lot of advertising expense so my proposal is that you take a closer look at what you can do with your website I took um, one of the videos and just did a mock-up page on a test site that I have just to see uh, if we could easily transfer that video over. we can stop putting it off call frontline roofing now so we've got um, opportunity here uh, to rank your business in a whole lot of cities and it's a long-term play it doesn't happen overnight but you've got a well-established website in terms of age it doesn't have much authority but that can be developed with content and content with blog posts about topics related to the roofing industry and then those posts link back to your main service pages and your service area pages and you can pull in a lot of business through organic search and it's evergreen once you uh, get that established then it sticks around and keeps delivering you new clients month after month without paying additional advertising um, costs so I don't know if you're looking for for organic search organic uh, marketing or not and SEO search engine optimization and all of that but if you are I'm quite capable of helping you I'm having a great deal of success in local markets and uh, so you can contact me by phone you can leave a voicemail I, I get so many calls that a lot of them go to voicemails but you can call 714-222-7961 or go to my website um, at davekeys.com which I showed at first and we'll take a look at this is a really big plus right here that you got an A plus certification with Better Business Bureau um, so here's my site davekeys.com or you can just simply go to Google and look for Dave Keys Media and you'll find it as well and there's a contact form there that you can fill out as well and I'll get that or you can make a phone call and contact me that way and uh, maybe this is something that we can work together with and uh, advance your business through organic search thanks for listening